Have you ever found hair in any of your food? It makes you lose your appetite, right? But there are more worse things than just hair that was ever found in food. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the most disturbing things found in fast food restaurants. But before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. And sometimes, we'd rather not find out what's really in the platter that's being served to us. Now, in today's episode, we'll be discussing some rather disturbing things, so make sure that you're not eating at the moment. Let's begin. At number one, we have Band-Aid in McDonald's fries. A Canadian family allegedly found a used Band-Aid in their McDonald's fries in 2007. This caused the family to immediately feel queasy, lightheaded, and nauseous. The family grew increasingly mortified and filed a lawsuit against McDonald's. However, McDonald's Canada issued a statement saying that the family's claims were bogus. What do you think you should be trusting when it comes to big news like this? Imagine what other things are lurking in your meals. It's both disgusting and weird, right? Imagine what else you could find in other fast food meals. What other things do you expect to find? This may stop you from having takeouts. This may even stop you from even going to restaurants every now and then. It would also help you work in healthy meals. So stay until the end of this episode to know what other disgusting things have been found in fast food meals. Okay. At number two, we have a condom in Big Mac. A customer named William Smith discovered one condom between the buns. The manager tried to calm things down by giving him two coupons for more McDonald's, but he still continued to file a lawsuit against McDonald's. William suffered physical and emotional illness. A resident even noted that a condom shop in the same minimal as McDonald's. However, the lawsuit was dismissed. At number three, we have serrated knife in a Subway sandwich. Who could believe that you could find a serrated knife in a Subway sandwich? But John Agnesi could. He ate a Subway sandwich and found a knife in between his teeth. Fortunately for him, he bit into the melted handle and not the blade. He accepted a settlement of $20,000. Well, at least it isn't another coupon. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. At number four, we have Mouse in a Soda. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? A man in Illinois found a mouse in his Mountain Dew. He took Pepsi to court and the beverage giant disputed the claim. They said that if a mouse had been in the can, it would have dissolved into a jelly-like substance. And that is what makes it even weirder. Would you even want to drink a soda that comes with a weird-like jelly substance? At number 5, we have Chicken Head in a Happy Meal. A woman in Virginia sued McDonald's for $100,000 after finding a chicken head in a box of wings in 2000. We guess it's not a Happy Meal anymore. It was brought to her attention that it was a chicken head because her 8-year-old son screamed when he saw it. <coughs> Despite the mortifying experience, the manager still offered two weeks of free meals. Of course, she didn't accept it. And now, we are halfway through this episode. There are still a lot more disgusting things found in fast food meals. Maybe even more disgusting things could be found in the future. So stay until the end to know what other things might lurk in your fast food meals. For now, let's move on to the next disgusting thing on our episode. At number 6, we have a slice of human skin allegedly found inside an Arby sandwich. What? What the fuck? Yep, you heard that right. 
A piece of human flesh with fingerprints still attached was allegedly found on an Arby's chicken sandwich in Ohio in 2005. Health investigators said that a manager had sliced his thumb while shedding lettuce and forgot to throw away the bin. This forgotten mystery totally became the talk of the town. However, Arby's claimed it was unintentional. But the victim continued to file a $50,000 lawsuit for the emotional damages. And the fast food chain had no other details and comments for this story. At number 7, we have Finger in the Chili. In 2005, a woman from San Jose, California claimed that she found a finger in her cup of Wendy's chili. Janoff from Mountain View, California. This discovery about your chili. Well, as I was eating my chili, and uh, I usually crack all my crackers and just put them in there, mix it all around, and started eating, eating and eating the way usually people eat. <laughs> and suddenly I uh, chew something that's kind of hard, crunchy, spit it out. At first I wasn't sure what it was. And uh, as we started investigating, poking it, other people too, that's when we find that there's something that looks like a nail. This became even crazier. The detectives who worked on the case determined that the finger belonged to a Nevada man who had given it to a woman's husband to plant in her food. They hoped to scam the restaurant chain. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get my... At number 8, we have a worm allegedly found inside a McDonald's filet fish If it's not hair or fingers, then this one woman from Michigan found a wormy surprise into her McDonald's filet fish sandwich. Well, it was a dead worm, but it still caused a bit of a traumatic experience. She was immediately refunded and filed a complaint with a local health department. But McDonald's started an investigation and also added how food safety and quality are atop of their priority. There was no final say about the case. What? What the fuck? At number nine, we have a dead rat allegedly baked into a sandwich at Chick fil A. Damn! Well, sodas are not the only place you could find rats and mice. In a Chick-fil-A sandwich, a dead rat has been baked into the bun. A woman in Longhorn, Pennsylvania sued Chick-fil-A for more than $50,000 for the negative side effects such as emotional distress anxiety and nightmares about the ordeal. There aren't even a lot of updates regarding this, but we do hope this woman had her settlement down. So far, all the things are either dead or used. Now this just goes to prove that fast food meals aren't entirely healthy. Who's next in command? The sous chef there. Uh, the sous is responsible for the kitchen when the chef's not around. Mm. Saucier in charge of sauces, very important. Uh and now we're almost at the end of this episode. And the last one is surely and definitely not something that you'd want to see in your meal. At number 10, we have a syringe in the Burger King breakfast sandwich. Angelica Cruz found a syringe in her Burger King breakfast in 2001. While she was chewing on her food, she suddenly pierced her cheek. When she looked at her food, it was a needle tip from a syringe. She sued the restaurant for $11 million. Now, after all the things that we just talked about in this list, would you now be even more careful about what you'd be eating? There might be enough to completely traumatize you and stop you from ever eating the same place again. But maybe you already had a similar experience. Tell us about that most disgusting thing you found in your fast food meal. Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.